I understand why stores are being shut down. <laughs> why is that? Them annoying ass associates. <laughs> don't don't you don't you hate? And I want to speak from experience. Okay, tell us what happened. I am a former uh, uh, sales se, se, yeah sales associate from the mall. Okay. okay, give you a little bit of my background. I used to work at Adidas. Thank okay. you for your service. Uh, you're so welcome. Yeah. Do do I get like some like on Veterans Day like a barbecue or something? <laughs> Absolutely not. Like Memorial Day. I'm getting nothing. I'm getting nothing. <laughs> nothing. Not barbecue. No. Where, I'm getting a gift card. You might could get a gift card. Might get a gift card. Yeah. I, but I was there when like Yeezys was like really easy. Yeah. Oh, the, all right. Now get him, get him a gift card. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and you might get a. You used to work yeah. at T-Mobile too, right? Used to work at T-Mobile. Yeah. I, I, I've worked some jobs now. Okay. Put the pain in. I, I, hello, we've yeah. done this. Hey, All right. Real African. Real African. Yeah. I live by my name. Yeah. I also worked at Macy's in the mall. Okay. So I understand like there are incentives. Okay. And a lot of the time there are sales incentives. Uh -huh. My whole problem would be, nigga, when I walk up in this store <laughs> and, I, and, 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 I, and I look mean face, let me do the mean face. Mm. Not, a, not a crack of a smile. When Nothing. I walk up in this store, yeah. dead all your sales goals tactics with me. Okay? okay. Because I like don't the, like, like the pitch. Yeah, I don't like when I can feel the pressure mm. of their manager <laughs> as they're talking. Of to their me. quota? Of their quota. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Oh, projecting it onto you. Like, yeah. you know, I need this right now. Buy this. <laughs> you could tell poor little Dylan wouldn't even come up to me mm -mm. if Greg, the manager, <laughs> didn't <laughs> tell him, hey, did you interact with this customer? Yeah. Hey, did you, did you see what they asked for? Sometimes good sales is, is just let that nigga get lost in the let, store. Let him cook. Let him cook. Let yeah. him peruse. Let him peruse come peruse. to me. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Don't y'all be feeling like they can't advantage? do that though. It's the, it's the fourth quarter sales and all of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's getting crunch time. I yeah. don't give a fuck. I will Amazon this shit. Okay? Like Yo, <laughs> facts. When I come up in this store. Yeah, yeah. If I don't feel the vibes. Yeah. How do you feel, P? Um, I I'm a customer service hoe. Ah. I like I like customer so, service. You just open for them. Oh, facts. Like you just open if I'm looking for something, like approach me first and then I'll let you know. No, I'm good. I'm just looking around. Right. But don't leave me there alone, especially if you could sense that this is my first time here. I'm lost. <laughs> uh, what, what was the place called? Golf what? Golf, golf Galaxy. Golf Galaxy. Yeah. Galaxy. That's where you be doing your golf, golf at, right? Yeah, yeah. you need a six Buy iron. Clubs. You don't know where to look. Yeah, let me get a nine and a five. <laughs> um, and two, like, yeah. I used to work at BMW. So oh, BMW, shit. I used to be a BMW genius, right? Not bad. Oh, Basically shit. the BMW tech, car tech. Right? So you used to fix the beams? No, 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 no. So like, say if y'all- oh, so you just had tech for no reason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake ass nigga. <laughs> called himself a genius and all that. You heard him? <laughs> nah, that's, that's what, that's the, the actual, that's, that's the what name. the title was yeah, called. Yeah. Like, so like, if y'all came, I was already got, hmm? I mean, um, well, let's say y'all came into, yeah, and we into wanted, BMW. And we were so fortunate enough to- Facts. Yeah. <laughs> right, met the right tax bracket mm -hmm. and all that. Absolutely. Um, my job would be to show you guys like all the the tech stuff in the car, how the car works, oh, got all you. the tech safety features and all that. Got you. So when I was working there, they uh, told us in orientation, like, look, our customer is our number one priority. You know, just a regular Joe Schmo. Yeah. Um, not Joe Schmo, Joe Schmo, but just a regular Dude. talk about yeah. how to interact with clients. Yeah. Um, cl uh, yeah, clients. I was going to say client advisors. But basically they said, perfect example they gave us. And I kind of use this and I love this. Yeah. I even attributed it to how I would like to be treated uh, when I go to a store. Say you ask to go to the bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of pointing and saying, hey, the bathroom's over there, right. you walk with them to the bathroom. Not in, like in the general uh, area of the bathroom. See, if you walk with me in the store, I might slap you. <laughs> you see? And you're right, but, but Pierre, that's what you were taught, right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. get it. But it, it, you know, that makes me feel good. Like, it do? Because I've been in other scenarios where like, you want to be chaperone in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I feel kind of funny. <laughs> How's up? Yeah. Chaperone in the bathroom is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it might, and I hate to do this, but it might yeah. be a race thing. Like, mm. why are you following the black person around the store? Because I hear that nah, a lot. Right. Like, yo, I don't want to be followed around the store. Like, yeah. in a car dealership, you're not going to steal the car. Yeah. Right? But Ho I think hopefully it's, not. Yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully little, not. You got to be a bad motherfucker to go yeah, on BMW yeah, yeah. and steal the whole car. Right? <laughs> but, like, if, if I'm in a sack, so if I'm in a bird off, right, and yeah. I go in there for something, and you're just following me around. Like, you're following me to the bathroom feels crazy. I feel like you think on my way to the bathroom, I'm going to, like, 
slide something in my pocket and that I'm trying bounce. to properly secure yeah. it once I get to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Which I've done before, but that's, that's, <laughs> but that's a whole other day. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole other time for another You day. have the right to follow me. Absolutely. Yeah. Before, but There's no. a way to do it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I just feel like, like, why are you following me around? Yeah. But to the flip side, like Pia's yeah. saying, I think some people like that. If I'm yeah. going in the mm-hmm. store and I'm about to spend a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars on your product, you better right. come in here, you better hand me a glass of water, you yeah. better mm-hmm. dress this up for me, make it an experience. I want a shopping experience. I don't want to come in here and just be by myself. I do like the other side of what you saying you're right because yeah. there are folks that out, are out there like you know what i do need some assistance when i go into a store especially when i'm new here yeah all right well this is what y'all gotta do <laughs> okay <laughs> look in the face of the person this okay. is this y'all problem you gotta treat what they say what's the saying different strokes for different folks yeah. right yep. yeah yeah okay cool <laughs> you can't do the same position with every john right this nigga is a freak boy i'm just saying i'm just saying <laughs> All I'm saying it's is, your prerogative. is this your, yeah, yeah. okay, you can't do the same things with every single person, yeah. right? And personally, when I walk up in the store and you get on me like, I want to walk out already. So I don't want to look at anything in here. You're saying leave yeah. you alone. Yes. Yeah. So, leave me alone. So you want to initiate the help. Absolutely. Okay. I want to initiate the help. Let me come to you. Let me ask if you got sizes in the back. Okay. Because the moment you start getting up on me and, hey, do you know what you're looking for? And start, uh, this is the one I hate. Don't mm-hmm. recommend me nothing. Facts. Don't recommend you don't know my style. <laughs> no, that's a fact. Don't recommend me nothing you will put on. Yeah. I mean, now I'm a meanie. Now I'm a meanie. Now I'm a meanie, right? <laughs> now I'm a, they doing their job, but now I'm a meanie, yeah. right? Yeah. But again, I'll I'll, I'll shoot them a little bit. You can't be an asshole client. Damn, now I'm an asshole. Because what if it's their job? I say it respectfully. To like, what if it's their job to to mm. to interact with you off rip? We're gonna tell the truth in here? Yeah. I'm we're gonna tell the truth and then we're gonna intro this podcast. Okay. All right. All right. When you don't want to talk to somebody, have you ever acted like you was on the phone? Yeah. Oh, no. That's my go-to. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm not alone. Okay. I am not, not alone. alone. Come on now. Okay. That's what I do. <laughs> as soon as I walk up in the store, I just start, hello? Yeah. And they still be, hey, what size? I'll be on the phone like, yeah, nah. So, you said who, baby mom, did what? <laughs> yeah. I'd be trying to make it spicy, too. Yeah. He shot who? I need this information yeah. now. Don't talk to me. Uh, d- wait. No. <laughs> no. She, she fucked that nigga? <laughs> Word? They still, hey, let me know if you need signs. Anyway. Yo, hey, but you know, yeah. real quick, you know the worst thing is when you do that? What's that when song? you're doing that move and your phone actually rings and now you look Ooh. like a fucking <laughs> idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I thought she was on the phone, bro. Yeah. Let me add to that. <laughs> One time I was doing that and the phone just lit up. Oh, so right? they could just see the background, oh, and I wasn't on loser. the loser. <laughs> I know, and I know he saw me. I felt like such a lame. Y'all ever seen the clip where Kawhi was walking? He had his head down, and it looked like he was on his phone. But they they <laughs> they zoomed, zoomed to the, the phone, phone, and nothing was happening. On the phone. Like a, he just didn't want to engage with whatever was going on. That just, that's what Jazz just reminded. Yeah, me. yeah. We need you know call that, you know call that a little uh, diffuser. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyway. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to We Have More Thoughts, where we share a collection of thoughts that probably don't get the time, the engagement, or the appreciation that they really should. As always, I am A. I'm accompanied by my illustrious crew here to the right of me. I have Pusha P, First Class Yo, P. What's up, Pierre, what's up, my good brother? What's up, what's up, what's up? How we uh, living, man? Chilling. I'm good. Good to Life's see you. Life's good. Yeah. Doing a lot of good things. That's beautiful. Thank God, but yeah. That's beautiful. I like that. And last but certainly not least, Penthouse Views. Uptown's finest. Who else? Q. Who Quincy, else would it be? Wh- wh- whatever you want to call him. Q. How we feeling, baby? Life is good. Life is great, man. We were just talking about how good life is, and sometimes yeah. you just gotta acknowledge it, man. Facts. Gotta yeah. wake up, yeah. look yeah. at the view, look at the sun come out, and be like, "Yeah, I'm good." <laughs> yeah. Facts. Like you yeah. know what? Things could be worse, right? Things yeah. could be worse. Yeah, I do right. that frequently. Right. <laughs> when some bad shit happened in my life, I go, "Damn, but I could be missing a toe." <laughs> I could be. <laughs> like, you got to think you, you got <laughs> yeah. to put it in perspective. You got to put it in perspective. Absolutely. Man, I yeah. try to do that with the people in my life as yeah. well, like yeah. especially when they can't see it. Man. Yeah, I, I call the first world problems. Like we complain about the most stupid shit sometimes. And if you can complain about first world problems. You're doing all right. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Pete, Mm -hmm. you brought up a topic to me off mic. Okay. And um, it it triggered a thought in my brain. Okay. Okay. Especially because me and Q work in radio. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess I wanted to ask you guys if I was sick or am I wrong for thinking that there's a need for a little bit of programming. Let me explain. Mm. I think radio and TV are very important. For sure. Because I feel like there are times, I'm sorry, Kendrick. <sighs> <laughs> there are times I want to be pacified. 
Okay. Mm. Sometimes you need that, right? So, <laughs> need that music that pacifies. Sometimes I want. A little, sometimes I little just feel like. <laughs> put, the, put that little A to sleep. <laughs> put that little A to sleep. Put that little A to sleep. Goodbye, A. Is <laughs> 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 it funny, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> put the little Z's over his head. <laughs> play, play some, some, some uh, what do you call it? White noise? Some dark, dark yeah. noise? Yeah. Star yeah. noise? I prefer the rainforest sound for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Start counting sheep and shit. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I really do feel like there's a need to, to be programmed a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, these days you could go up in your car, connect your phone, mm-hmm. control your music. Um, cable is obviously still a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, barely, barely. Barely. <laughs> Streaming. Um, yeah. I got a little cable story. Uh, I, feel like, <laughs> I got a little cable story. Uh, I want you guys to know you haven't adulted yet. If you haven't called your cable provider to threaten cancellation mm-hmm. if they didn't lower the bill and um that i i've gone through that recently i've, I've done that Veteran yeah. move. Veteran move. thanks man yeah. and it made me think to how i was programmed though okay. <laughs> right because even cable is kind of antiquated in a sense no for sure right yeah and i'm like damn why am i still doing this <laughs> but to me it's because <laughs> you know they got youtube tv mm-hmm. now yeah, yeah. they have fire sticks where you could hack everything uh-huh. jailbreak it jailbreak it i don't know what it is but for me i do like some level of of programming where where I don't want your I don't want my mind to be controlled. I want to be manipulated. Mm. I don't want to turn an eye robot. No, that's some, too much. Or, or some shit, right? But I do feel like there are times where you, you should allow your brain to just chill. Yeah, <laughs> like you don't have to pick a show all the time. You know, like when I get into the car, there are times where I truly enjoy listening to the radio. Yeah, yep, yep. yep. I know it sounds sick. Like it's not an old car. People getting there with some of me. <laughs> People getting there with me sometimes to be like, "Are you alright? <laughs> Are your phone not working? Yeah, like, everything nah, good? It's yeah. working. I just I want to hear what Funk Flexi these niggas yeah, got to yeah. say. I want to see what the vibe is like, yeah, right? So, yeah. am I wrong for it? Where y'all at with it? Um, Especially with so much uh, uh, freedom now, freedom, freedom of will. Freedom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for me, I find programming to be uh, a good thing okay. in some regards, especially when I'm like looking for new music. Yeah, or just not even looking, but like want to stumble upon like new music. Um, but there are times where like I don't want it. I don't, I don't, I don't want programming. I just want to listen to what I listen to. Like, you know, I've said it here a bunch of times. I'm a big Tory Lanez fan. Yeah, uh, same. So yeah, I, 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 no, now same. he be cranking his shits out. All right. Where would a fl- where would a, where would you come on? All right. Do it with pride. Ten toes. I know. So like some, sometimes that's all I want to listen to. <laughs> right. That's and a I crazy want... way to say you're a Tory fan, by the way. Ten toes. <laughs> I see what you did there. P. You're a sick nigga. You're a sick nigga. You're a sick nigga. Wow. All right, Damn, but... I didn't even realize I did that. Yeah. <laughs> you starting, you become a rapper. No, no offense taken. I'll be hanging around you guys. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, put it on me. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, that's all right. I'm one of them friends that you can put the blame on me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Alex. <laughs> so, it's hey. Alex's fault. Yeah, yeah, you can put that blame on me. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, I just think that you yeah. got to be balanced for me in a sense. In a sense like, you, sometimes you need it. Sometimes you you know, you know, be cool without it. Right. Yeah. I, I, I think you do need it. I don't mind. I I'll call. I guess it's a little stimulation. I guess like sometimes I don't want my brain on go. Like, why do we have this technology if we can't use it, right? If you can curate something that you know I'm gonna like, and mm-hmm. it's almost like like you said, like if you're looking for music, or sometimes you go on Netflix and they might have the for you or whatever yeah, the case yeah. may be, right? Yeah. Fire. Yeah, I, I need that sometimes, yeah. right? Or a yeah. you want to listen to the radio? Right. To me, radio sometimes is nostalgic, even though we work in radio. Yeah. Um, just putting on the radio in the car, it's a little nostalgic. And like you said, you have somebody controlling the music. Sometimes, literally, that's a job now when you're in the car. They'd be like, yo, who going DJ? Yeah. Who, yeah. who DJing in the car? Who got the aux? Yeah, who yeah. got the aux? Yeah, who got right? the aux? Now, now, now it becomes you a thing. You're yeah. a DJ. <laughs> yeah. Now you got and a new stress. If it's yeah. a bad vibe, you out right. next. That yeah, ass. and now you want to sneak in the joint that nobody really know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Right? Are they going to turn their hand when I play this? I got a couple joints like that I go to. And too, like, thinking of that playlisting. Yep. Right. Like sometimes I want to hear what Q listening to. Sometimes Same. I want to like Alex puts out um, yeah. his music list every yeah. Friday. Every Friday. Um, whenever at Ball Till We Fall. Hello. At, at yeah. Ball Till We Fall. Yeah. <laughs> Religiously every Friday. Hello. Every Friday. <laughs> I always want to yeah. be like, all right, like what's on the up and up? Because Alex right. is, Alex is like a human jukebox. Yeah, literally. He like, knows like a human he, DSP in a nah, sense. He knows. You, know, you know what I mean? <laughs> he is Apple Music. He is wow. uh, Spotify. He nah, is I love that. when niggas big me up. <laughs> Keep going. What else you got? Nah, <laughs> so like I want to. Oh wait, you done? 
<laughs> nah, I had, some, I had something for him. Like, yeah, like, you're doing good. Yeah. I'm like, yo, hey, did you hear? Uh, who was he talking? About? I think we were talking about Wolf Face Joey. Yeah. I'm like, okay. yo, yo, hey, like I fuck with this new guy, like yeah. young cat. And I'm like, yo, hey, yo, Wolf Face Joey, I've been fucking with him like, yeah. yo, yo, that's my dog. We went to school together. Wow. Like, Nigga Nigerian. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, yo, nothing gets past this man. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, he had the album early. Like, <laughs> like who is this man? Like, you know, he knows. Funny? And in a sense, when it comes to music, yeah. I wanted to be the beacon. Of uh, what, what's the word of uh, passive? I guess not pacifying, but like I wanted to f be a DSP in a sense, yeah. mm. like a human DSP in a sense. Gotcha. Like you wanted to be the trailblazer to right. new music, because I know a lot of people are not gonna do the deep digging right. for not. new music yeah, every yeah. week. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. It's a job. Honestly. It's a job. Yeah, yeah. It's a, I just found out that uh, Roddy Rich put some put something out recently. Recently, yeah. right? And you don't hear like certain artists right. they get they get buried in that uh -huh. algorithm or like yes. We were just talking about this on one of the other shows that I produced, and it was like, uh, we were asking about recent albums that came out, and they're like, yo, Ghostface put out an album, and this person, yeah. and that person, like, yo, where like, do y'all see this album? <laughs> exactly. Like, you'll never know this person put and, out an album. Exactly. Sure. And when things used to be programmed, yeah. well, more programmed, we did see these things more. Uh -huh. Yep. Right? Like, I think a lot of these albums lasted longer because yeah. they were specifically marketed to do so. Mm -hmm. So where it was like, remember when, we, when people really listen to the radio? Yeah. Oh my God, I keep hearing this song over and over yeah. again. Yeah, this yeah. song been on the radio for the last... But in hindsight, it kind of helped it that song become a classic. For sure. Facts. Right? For sure. It, it kind of helped that song be remembered so, so deeply. Yeah, and you yeah. could always associate it to a time where you was listening to it mm -hmm. from yeah who you were with absolutely and like sometimes they could be, the song could be so bad mm -hmm. <laughs> if you hear it enough times <laughs> it, it's actually good you found something in there that you, you like that you like line yes. anything yes absolutely that's right yeah. but again we have so much choice now yeah right we get mm -hmm. in these vehicles we plug up our phones we do apple music we mm -hmm. do spotify we do title we do mm -hmm. apple music and all these things so it, it kind of puts you in a place as to where you only deal with what you're comfortable with right mm. and that's the other side of programming that i'm i don't mind because i'm kind of exposed to things mm -hmm. that naturally maybe i wouldn't innately do by myself yeah right right and mm. i think that's pretty important because again when we listen to people talk about how social media has corrupted news mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. it's because people are choosing to get their news from places that they naturally wouldn't before. Right. Right? Like they're gonna go grab big news from Twitter. Mm. They might go grab big news from TikTok or Instagram. Or their favorite personality that's actually giving well, out the news. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Now, in that, you're choosing to do that out of comfortability. For sure. Nothing wrong with that, but sort of like. Like you like, pigeonhole yourself. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And I tell my mom this all the time. Like, my mom, she loved that MSNBC boy. <laughs> she locked in? Oh, she locked. Nah. She nah, C I'm not going to lie. I'm about to write them a letter. CNN. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm about to write MSNBC and them a letter. Yeah, yeah. No, for MSNBC specifically. Yeah. They got a hold on my mother. <laughs> they, got they got a hold on my mother. They got a hold on my pops. Yeah, and they need to send a check if they're going to do that. Yeah, this yeah. are people. Yeah, yeah. These are people with parenting. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Give me my money. Yeah. I'm about to claim on that. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I tell her all the time, I'm like, Mom, I would love for you to just... And she does it, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of the time, just check out CNN too. Yeah. Check out Fox. Not to digest and believe what's being said. Yeah, just to be... Well but just to be more well-rounded right. about everything that's occurring yeah. so you're not just going to something that feels comfortable to yeah. you. Facts. And right? I'm, I'm glad you said that because there was a point where all I listened to were like my three, like three artists, not even favorite, but just three artists right. that put out songs that I liked. It got to the point where I was like, dang, what, like this came out? I'm hearing different songs. I'm like, when did that come out? And then like to you, what you were saying, I pigeonholed myself into only listening to these artists not even realizing that there was so much other good music out there. Exactly. So like playlisting does that for me. Ah, uh, yes. That's why yes. I like the whole, you know, the whole oh, oh, that, theory behind playlisting. Because people can create that and, and you can just keep going back to it because it's been programmed for yeah. you. Yep. Yeah. I love that. I love yeah. that. Hey man, you guys are great. I got something else I wanted to talk to you guys about here today. Um, where is it? Q. Yes. Pass the ball right to you because I so. you have a <laughs> great music topic. What's up, buddy? I'm ready for it. Uh, so uh, where were you at? In the uh, off mic, you had mentioned something about pivotal years in hip hop. Pivotal years. Yeah. 10 year spans. I like to break them down in 10 year spans. Okay. Right. Because okay. yeah. I was thinking what, what I was really thinking about is if you missed one of these years, mm. how would you be able to bounce back? Right. Mm. Which decade? If you missed a wow. decade of hip hop, how lost would you be? Right. So <laughs> wow. think about like 1990 to 2000. Right. 2000 to 2010 okay. right and i guess we can do some of the older years like that yeah. right. maybe even 1980 
1990, right? So right, now you've okay. got the forefathers, you've got the Run DMCs, you've got the Big Daddy Canes. Yeah. What if you just completely missed, you have no recollection of that, mm, right? Me. What if you had, <laughs> no, but you know, though, you can still hear You're Run familiar. DMC. Like yeah, if my Adidas familiar. came on right now, you wouldn't yeah. be like, yo, what's that? <laughs> what's funny? Yeah. I only appreciate it if I hear it in a, uh, in a sample. Okay. But continue, okay. Continue. Okay. Okay. 1990 to, to um, let's say 2000, right? Early yeah. Nas, early Jay-Z, yeah. um, early Puff and Big and Mace. And then we get to the early 2000s, we're talking about Dipset. Right. More so like mm. groups, G Unit, mm, true. right? Yeah, yeah. Which one of those decades do you feel like I'm all right, I'm all right without that? Hmm, mm, that's tough. This is a two part question. I'm gonna answer. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna answer to you in two ways. Okay. I'm gonna give you what I think is the most pivotal. Yep. And then I'm gonna give you the one you feel like you couldn't do. The without. one I couldn't be without. Right. Right. That, that you could not be without. Or, or, or without? the one. I, the one I. You said I, the one I could miss. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, so yeah, I'll give yeah, you the one yeah, I could yeah, miss yeah. after. Okay. I'm I'm a little split when it comes to this All right. because I'm split between the foundation of hip hop, the first 10 years, mm -hmm. yep. and I'm split between when real money was made in hip hop. Very different times. Wow. Very different times. Because the pioneers always, we get a lot of pioneer stories. <laughs> uh, a ton of them <laughs> yeah. to this day, yeah, right? Yeah. So we would be remiss if we didn't include the origin mm -hmm. of how hip hop was even started, right? Yes. Yeah. So I guess... On my list, I would probably put that as 1A because without the founders, how do we even get to other places? Right. right. Now, so much spawned from that. So much spawned for that, right? So I guess what's that? The 80s yeah, into can, the 90s? We could say, yeah, we could say 80s into the 90s. Yeah. Now, I think the most pivotal for me is going to be uh, the 2000s on because of the money. Okay. So you you doing money. You're doing yeah. like business, the business, business aspect of business it. Business aspect, yeah. In terms of um in terms of like how it affected the genre and the music, mm -hmm. yeah, like definitely the origins is the forefathers for me personally. Okay. Yeah. Because we hear so many stories about how they weren't able to really profit or make the correct money off for sure. of their yeah. works and arts. They didn't know hip hop was, so was gonna be here. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Even though they started it. Like, yeah. like that's that's some shit they, they started in the park. Like, uh, yeah. You know. You don't need your masters, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. masters. You're yeah. not gonna need that. You're not gonna nah. need that. Not Son, you'll be fine without it. Look at yeah. you now. You're yeah. 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 Look at you. Yeah. What you? What you want to? What you want to rap for? A sub. A sub. A Pathfinder. You need yeah. Nissan. Nissan Pathfinder. What you want? A Nissan you. Pathfinder, right? Yeah. That's all you need, right? That's all you need. And five bands, right? <laughs> all right, just write your name right here. Yeah. That's all you want. It's a seven twenty deal. Seven twenty. Got you for twenty five album packs. And I, it's maybe it's hard for me to even answer the one I could do without because. The 90s to the 2000s, I just have this, I'm a 90s baby. I have just a certain attachment yeah. Yeah. to hip hop released during that time, yeah. right? Um, so I guess I'm, if I'm talking more creatively, I can't live without the 1990s yeah. to the 2000s. Mm -hmm. But the most pivotal in terms of artists being appreciated mm -hmm. would definitely be the 2000s on. Because I hear, you know, the originators talk about the money that these cats make. Yeah. And that that's pretty pivotal to me. Yeah. Yeah. Like for me, I got a really interesting relationship to like music. Well, with music. Right. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> my first album bought was on a cassette tape. Mm. It was the Marshall Mathers LP. Real. That was one of my first albums too. For real? Yep. Wow. wow. And I think the second, the second one, my second artist, um, artist, my second bought D a CD yeah. was the D12 mm. EP. Wow. Wow. Um, oh, you, so, was, you were shady. Yeah. Yeah. Straight shady after straight, that. Straight shady. That's fire. And um, so like 90s, 90s to 2000s was really it for me. Right. But then, bro, after from like the 2000s to like 2018, 2017, I really didn't give a damn about music. <laughs> Yo, and the reason why is because yeah. I see what you're saying. Though. I was, yeah. I was, my, my, I was focused on so many other things other than music. Right. Mm -hmm. But it, I feel now that like I missed out on so much. You missed out on a little. To something. where like I'm, I'm watching certain things that happened. Like just the other day, I was, I was texting Savon. Shout out to Savon. Mm -hmm. Um, I found myself listening to the Tax Stone and Joe Button, um, whole conversation where got you like the, the feud between the two right, right. it was yeah. hilarious <laughs> oh, so i'm texting say well, like look look at your man she was like nah that was the golden era of podcasting yeah but like instances like that i'm just finding out that like 
I missed out on a lot of stuff. Yeah, you didn't and, realize. And it, and it makes me, it almost, now it's almost invigorating um, when I stumble upon it because like, I just feel like I'm learning so much more. But I guess to answer the question, Q, um, I mean, I lived without really the post-2000s up until 2017, 2018. So right. the most pivotal for me um, was the 90s because then I was listening to, you know, my, even till today, my, one of my favorite albums is the Black Album. Mm. Um, Jay Z. Great time. Was I could that like 2003 ish? Uh -huh. Yeah, 03, uh -huh. 04. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I could recite it back and front. Like, my life depends on it. You know right. what I mean? Right. But yeah, anything after that up until more recently. And it's really Alex and Savon and, and Reggie's fault. Because, <laughs> like, welcome. listening yeah. to them on the pod, I'm just like, okay, yeah, now nah, I can make sense of, of what they're saying. And what also helped me with that is like my, um, I play guitar. Okay. Yeah. So I know theory and all that stuff, music theory. So that yeah. helped kind of. Yeah me understand like kind of the nuances of music and, and the stuff. interest for you yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's fire just to add on to that what also made me think about this topic in general is just the newer generation that's listening to music yeah. and realizing that they don't have the same connection of those early years like mm. we do mm -hmm. so there's people right now in their early 20s right that they don't know they don't even know 50 cent was a rapper they think of 50 cent of like power <laughs> and that's like crazy mobile. yeah so wow. it's like you miss that you don't have that that era of hip-hop right yeah. so yeah that's what I'm asking. Like, why? What era is important? Like, what era can you do without? Because to me, it's crazy that you don't know 50s a rapper. Yeah. And you yeah. missed out on like G Unit and what that right, meant as yeah. a cultural thing. Like, right. A spoke to the business side of it, but think right. about of just like the cultural impact of Dipset and mm -hmm. how they made you want to dress yes. and certain things With that the they paint. made you want to do. Yeah. So for me, yeah. I think that era for me. Mine's kind of overlaps, which is which is not fair. But mm -hmm. if I had to pick one, I would probably go two thousand to like two thousand ten. Two thousand on, yeah, and because we yeah. get a little Drake in there too. Yeah, so yeah, we're getting yeah. dip set, yeah, yeah. and yeah. then it's ended with Drake, which is a <laughs> okay. crazy ten years, that's right? Hard, and you saying hard. that's the one you can't live without? No, that's the one I absolutely need. Need, oh, like, need. I absolutely <laughs> need that okay. one because yeah. we, yeah. we were doing too. Like right. which one we absolutely yeah. need, and then we can't. Mm -hmm. The one I can probably do without. Yeah, it's fucked up. But like the little forefathers and all yeah, that. Yeah, I don't yeah. need like the. Like we respect them. Re yeah, 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 totally respect. respect but again, them, it's yeah. just it's the same way the younger generation looks at our music. Mm -hmm. They look at us yeah. like, yeah, I don't need Fifty rapping. Right. Yeah. Like that's the way we looking at some of these older acts, even yeah. though they were pivotal, they were the foundation yeah. and like the footprints of it. Yeah. But it's like they're looking at it the same way. Like, yo, we don't need like Dipset mm -hmm. and we don't need all of that. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like it's crazy to see how some of that influence is just missing for them. So it yeah. just made me think about oh. like. A 10 year span in hip hop, what was the most pivotal? But yeah. I think if you go 2000 and then end at 2010, yeah. so you got peak Jay Z, you've got right. Dipset, right. you got Eminem, <laughs> you got 50. That's a great yeah. point. And then you ending off with like, even though Wayne was there in the early years, you ending off with Prime Wayne, yes, you getting true. introduced to Nicki Minaj true. and Drake. Even, three, that's a crazy 10 two. right there. That's a great point yeah. you're making because even in the 80s, right? Yeah. They were relatively still figuring it out. Right? True. Mm -hmm. As they gradually got into the 90s, right? And then they say this all the time. They salute people like Rakim. Yeah, because uh, if you cool, talk to somebody yeah. from the 80s, they'd be like, yo, it started out with right, yeah. Rakim and right. G-Rap and it ended off with yeah. Al. And, right. So to them, that's just like, of, yo, that's like me saying, yo, it's ending off with Drake and, yeah, and Nicki yeah. and right. Ray. So yeah. everybody because has we were their able own to feeling. see artists like Rakim, LL yes. Cool J, and G-Rap take what was done in the late 80s mm -hmm. and turn it into something a little bit more marketable, yeah. a little bit more fly. Again, we agree, we appreciate what was done before. Yeah, right. And it's like, oh, okay, okay, now we understand, like, because they did that, it made the next generation so much better. So much, yeah. You need every generation. Yeah, and, absolutely. I, I can see a world where if I'm somebody that doesn't appreciate, like, the forefathers, like, I can see a world where I'm in the presence of my own being and I'm just like, Yo, I like this music that's here now, so I really don't even really need back then. And I could understand right. or make allowances for like, all right, these people that I like now, their influences were the people of old, of old or, or yeah. yesteryear. Yeah, yeah. But you're not really thinking of that. No. You're oh, really just thinking, yo, I like this music. Yeah. I like this, this artist. I was born around when this artist was first starting to get popped off. So you feel more of a familiarity with them than mm -hmm. you would somebody that you weren't yeah. basically alive to see their come up. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just something so special about when you talk about rap in the 90s, right? Mm -hmm. we, yeah. we, we get Tupac. Yeah. We get Biggie. Yeah. Right? We get also a lot of unique styles. Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang, of course, right? Mm -hmm. We get all these unique styles of rap as to where like, again, a lot of people call that the golden, the mm -hmm. golden age, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The golden age of hip hop. Like, all right, there were so many people contributing to developing the sound more and more. True. Personally, and maybe this is more recency bias, there's something so special about the 2000s to me. Mm -hmm. Because, real talk, 
when we talk about the Ja Rules, the DMXs, wow. yeah. uh, the Missy Elliots, like just That's the Outcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the 2000s were like, a, it's just a huge culmination of the yeah. 80s and the 90s. Yeah, and let's put a perfect blend. Yes, yeah, a yeah, perfect yeah. blend. And now let's put marketing and commercial uh, yeah. money behind and it. Technology. And technology. technology. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. So maybe, maybe that's why that is a, 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 maybe a bit more emphatic. For yeah. us, yeah. in terms yeah. of this age range, of course. Yeah. I think I think yeah. it really is based on age range because, like I said, the question yeah. was birthed just from the younger generation because they be shitting on certain shit. That be like, how could you shit OD. on that? Like, OD. I'm starting just to see seeing them. some of their opinions on yeah. certain stuff. It's just like I can tell you, you missed. Yeah, like you missed certain. something. You missed yeah, yeah, you missed a like a lot. I'm yeah. seeing yeah. kids not understand Lil Wayne. Right, and I remember when we were kids, oh and God. they and we had to explain Lil Wayne yeah. to people older than us. Yes, so I'm like, wait, y'all not even fucking with Wayne? Granted, I know he hasn't put out a bunch of like yeah. new shit, or he wasn't on a milli, or he wasn't <laughs> right, on all right, no, right, no right. ceilings, or all yeah. of the mixtapes we came up with. I understand it, but man, it's changing. Now yeah. I heard. So speaking of a milli, I heard. Uh, yeah, a milli. Uh, a milli. I heard yeah. a forty. I downloaded off of Kaza. Kaza. Oh yeah, I, I downloaded. Kazaa. The forty-five minute version computer of, had of Matt Aids. Aids. Torrance. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Matt Aids. Matt Aids in your computer. Dirty, right? And he said he downloaded the forty-five the minute. The forty-five minute shit was had, cooked. Incurable. Had everybody. <laughs> it had everybody. Irreversible. On it. <laughs> yeah. But I think the one yeah. that I I downloaded it had Wayne on it. It had Wayne on it, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Even we we just come from that. Like yeah. it's a very see even sweet. that era of yeah. just having to download music yeah. and right. search for your favorite song. Yeah. And yeah. Sometimes you get the right version. Sometimes you get the joint with the DJ drop that you didn't ask <laughs> yeah. for. Yeah. And they keep just <laughs> wilding on your joint. <laughs> yeah. Like yo, all right. I know it's you, bro. Just yeah. I just want to hear a million though. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> also, and, fun flex like yeah. consistent bombs and all that. Yeah. And us going through these things, I think, give us a, a heightened level of um, appreciation mm -hmm. yeah. that maybe a lot of the new kids just don't have. Like everything is just so accessible to them, right? Yeah. All they got to pay is nine ninety nine a month, yeah. and to everything. them, this is always how it's been. Like yeah. and in actuality, we was waiting on lines, we was doing this, etc. Mm -hmm. I wanted to stay in music, mm -hmm. and uh, it's funny we kind of talking about errors. Mm -hmm. I wanted to talk about. Drake's he, Drake has a duality to him mm -hmm. and his music, right? Mm -hmm. He's been heralded for being a great song maker and people love his raps. Yep. Of course, you know, he went through the beef with Kendrick Lamar. Whoever you think won over there, I get it. I, we've already talked that into the ground. Yeah. You guys have what, heard it already. What's done is done. <laughs> what, what's, what's, it's too late for all that. Yeah, it's too late. Love it, love it. <laughs> it's too late for all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what I did, um, what this beef made me realize was my appreciation for Drake's R&B catalog. Mm, facts. Real talk, because, you know, a lot of, you know, he's being critiqued now for his pen mm -hmm. and the ghostwriting allegations. And it made me stop for a second and go, yo, A, mm -hmm. how much rap rap do you really listen to from Drake? That's a good point. Real talk. And then I, I did a, a, a mini list in my head. Mm -hmm. And I went, okay, I love all of the like the deep rap records on his albums, mm -hmm. like like the Western Road Flows and stuff like that. Time stamp the joints. The time joints, yeah. right? Like yeah. those are like the rap records from him that I, I like. I really do appreciate mm -hmm. them. He got his shit off. Yeah. All right, this isn't a shit on Drake's uh segment. Mm -hmm. It's just really like an uh, Cause people are saying you 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 do OD. That. <laughs> they saying yeah, they, they saying say I, Alex hate Drake. <laughs> Damn. I, I love Drake, bro. This is your takes that That's all right. they, you yeah. know what it is? They don't listen to your takes all the way through. They don't. Yeah. They don't. And, and it's hard, yeah, because I'm I, you know me, I'm, yeah. I'm all on duality. Yeah, yeah, and when I yeah. clip it up, I just make sure to make you look bad. Thanks, yeah. th thanks, thanks yeah. a lot for he, that, Pierre. He chose violence. <laughs> he did. He chooses violence every fucking time. Yeah. Now I appreciate you yeah. for that to spark the conversation. But yeah, yeah no, you do great. You do <laughs> great. So it led me to again, like the music that I enjoy from him. Yeah, and to Pierre's point, there was somebody that got on me on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Cooked you? Nah, I kind of cooked him. <laughs> <laughs> cook back, cook back, <laughs> cook back. <laughs> and I really don't be trying to cook the listeners or nothing like that. But I also want to be very clear mm -hmm. in my thoughts and how I think about things. Mm -hmm. So whenever I feel like I wasn't clear enough, I just go back and double back. Yeah. So he said, yo, Drake must have fucked one of Alex's girls. Like, the way he be talking about his music, like, does he really think that Drake should stop making rap music? And I said, no, I don't think Drake should stop making rap music. However, mm -hmm. As I've done my assessment on his catalog, and I'll go through it real quick. Shut it, shut it down, pipe down, race my mind, jaded, Marvin's room, just hold on, we're going home, 
these are all these are singy type records a lot right? of them he's got a lot of joints yeah. like that yeah. you yeah. didn't even get into the wine waste joints like i didn't even go into the controller the one dance, the oh one dance. and oh my god i think god. those are his biggest records oh, i mean statistically one dance and controller have proven to have been some yeah. of his biggest records i, I yeah. think uh i think one 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 of them has a billion uh listens on or yeah. plays on, on Spotify, um, right? On, on mm -hmm. Spotify and yeah. YouTube. And on YouTube. That's yeah. insane. Mm -hmm. So when you really, you know, dig deep into his catalog, at least for me, I'll speak personally, I'll ask you guys, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When it comes to like getting tough music and shit like that or yeah. getting gangster, I have my batch of people I pull from. <laughs> You've got your gangsters. <laughs> I've got You've, You've got, got your, your G's. You got your G's. You got your that G's you can go to. You got your thug crew. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got the niggas that I'm going to go to. Like, I listen to Johnny Cinco. I listen to Future. You know, I listen to New York Drill. I listen to Max B. I listen to Stack Bundles. Mm -hmm. Right. So for me, as a music lover, and that's another thing, too. Like, most people don't be music lovers. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Or they develop into that, as Pierre was saying no, earlier. Right. right. You're not just a music lover. You are a I music. And we could believe this. You are a music fucker. Like, yeah. No. <laughs> You got, don't bleep that. No, listen, keep it. <laughs> don't keep that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. So for me, when I do it, I'm like, fam, I got the folks that I go to for that gangster timing. Mm -hmm. I've never associated Drake with that because that's not how I was introduced to him. Mm -hmm. I was introduced to even his his brat record that I was introduced to him with. Well, at least globally, best I ever had. Best I ever had. He's talking about a girl. Yeah. When he talks about women, I've loved it over the years because I can relate to it from the scenarios you've gone in, into your life. Mm. Like that song, Jaded, I could have sworn he was talking about my ex. <laughs> Drove me to your family's house for what? <laughs> for what? Like, you damn, came, I thought that nigga was in the room. You came alive. He, yeah. I came alive yeah, when he said yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. Yo, he could relate too. I connected to it. Yeah. So when he get on sicker mode and start talking about... When he made the when he made the right, oh, <laughs> you didn't need him to make that right on sicko mode. I actually like sicko mode. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem with sicko okay. mode. I yeah. truly don't. But when it goes to what I really, really enjoy and go back to it, it's the slow joints. It's the slow joints. Yeah. So I want to. Am I bugging for thinking that like, like if Drake was to pivot fully in the R and B, I wouldn't be upset. Would you guys be upset? Nah, I wouldn't be upset because I feel like with every artist, even, let's keep it to Drake. Even yeah. with Drake, there's certain things that he does really well. And there's some certain things that some people don't really find like that it matches the essence of who he is. Most people are saying he's cosplaying as a rapper. Right. You know, you didn't grow up this way. You're you're taking the black uh, experience and you're putting your twist on it, so on and so forth. Cool. He still makes good music, but honestly, <laughs> honestly, never mind. For me, it was a really good album. I love that album. The alternative dance. You know, it's kind of as a dance. Yes. I it, love that project. It showed me he wasn't <laughs> like he had more, like uh, like his ceiling wasn't just capped at where it was before Facts. then. Right. So like, you know, and and he was even um I don't know how many people actually watched this interview, but um when um Elliot Wilson um and B dot and B dot yeah. sorry my fault Elliot and B dot yeah. um interviewed Drake. Drake said like, look, he likes listening. He likes like tapping into different types of music. He right. didn't want to just bottleneck himself into the whole the whole rap thing. Yeah. So like that's why I was really confused when people were like almost downplaying him for coming out with an honestly never mind. Right. But for me, I just like the duality. And to your point, you know, I do like him making those more melodic, mm -hmm. you know, tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And especially like I said, uh, honestly never mind as the more melodic album. Yeah. And uh, or alternative um album. But yeah, I mean, I don't I don't mind it. And I think he does both well, but. I would one A one B it for me. Okay, so and I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. You got one A at where the melodic joints or the rap? One A at melodic, but okay. he, when he rap, he do rap. He do yeah. that. Be and that's the thing. I, I don't think yeah. anyone thinks he can't rap. Yeah. No, I don't think that's the thing. For me, I really do like melodic Drake. Honestly, never mind. That's what that's what I was going to touch on too. Like yeah, yeah. some of the joints on there, like Texaco Green. They said Texaco Green oh got cocaine in it. It do. Like, <laughs> that joint is like that's two C. Uh, some of those joints. So <laughs> that's two C right there. And not to even switch <laughs> off Drake, but I was also saying this about Future when he did the uh, mm. We Don't Trust You and We Still Don't Trust You. The, uh, we still don't trust you where it's future Hendrix and he's yeah. really getting his or, or the album the little future singy, Hendrix yeah Woo. the little singy bag I'm just like yo future just gave me this I'm good I'm good, good. and sometimes we have that feeling about Drake like yo if he just gave point. me this that's a great point I'm good but to 
to speak to his rap side a little bit because i feel like we all spoke to his r&b side yeah. and how much we liked it i'll speak to his rap side a little bit yeah i do like the braggadocious like, like braggadocious drake the balls. bravado mm -hmm. the like y'all yeah. not fucking with me the success type bars of, yeah right. yeah i right. like i like I the shit on niggas sometimes yeah, so yeah. i can get in my sippy bag when it right. comes to the slow joints i yeah. love those joints yeah. yeah jaded um hours in silence oh, of her love hours yeah. in silence Bruh. what are we Come talking about oh my god they said that should be an album in itself i got chills let's talk about it look yeah bro like those joints yeah. for sure right we can speak signs to the mm. all of those joints like love though like that's my ideal drake bag right because right. i like that vulnerability like yeah. and i think that's what makes drake drake though because he's talking mm. shit on the rap album the track before he's talking about hey, he don't need these joints man. he's the man he just slimed you out and your friend and all of that <laughs> yeah. but the next track he's hurt he's hurt yeah. by this yeah. like yeah. he did this story and, yeah, yeah you left him now and he's hurt and now yeah. he's singing about how he remembers your mom and <laughs> all of this stuff right and we and love brother. that yeah like, but don't i don't remember do, my brother i do think there's still a need for rap drake and he can't right. hang that up sure. like right. and and I think the Kendrick thing, it, it is what it is, right? It's a chink in his armor. I still think he could come back and still talk his shit because at the end of the day, money, mm -hmm. success, mm -hmm. numbers, right? He can still brag about all of those things and yeah. all of the things that he's accomplished as a rapper. So for me, I just need that bravado from Drake. He yeah. makes me, when I want to feel like the man, yeah. I'll, I'll put on one of his joints where he's really talking crazy and he yeah. really got some bars and yeah. stuff like that. And again, a lot of stuff is coming up with ghostwriting and things mm -hmm. like that. Some of the recent link leaks did bother me as yeah. a core drake fan right i wanted some of those thoughts to be his original thoughts For when sure. it comes from the rap side right even in the r&b though i don't want too much goes right in r&b because i want really? your heart to be broken yeah. oh I want really your what from if your they pain. told you jaded <laughs> wasn't him hmm? what that's if okay. he wasn't that, jaded that's okay, okay. i'm jaded <laughs> yeah i'm jaded <laughs> but i want somebody <laughs> i want to know who's really jaded so i can yeah. relate to the person that's being okay. jaded it's right? interesting who did it it's interesting you're bringing that up right see an r&b or in pop Mm -hmm. I don't mind. It's mm. more acceptable. Yeah, I it doesn't. Don't mind. It doesn't bother Somebody me as much. Yeah, but I still want some personal right, heartbreak. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go I'm through the pain. I can see that. I'm not yeah. mad at that. I'm not mad. I'm super not mad at that yeah. because when you look at the pop records that he that he's so good at, mm -hmm. you see how none of them have ever been critiqued. True. No. I'm like, why is rap the thing? Right? <laughs> yeah. You see where I'm getting at? Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. think Drake would ever have been critiqued mm -hmm. if he if he wasn't on some like. I'm the number one pen, this and that, whoop de whoop. Yeah. When I look at his pop records, the melodic records, they do well. They do a little better than the rap joints he puts out as well. Yeah, as long as as long as Drake has, does rap. Yeah. Rap, everybody in rap has to be competitive. Yeah. You can't be a rapper and not You're be right. competitive. So great point. Sure. even great if point. even if he didn't say that, yeah. people would have found a way to like pit him or try to rank him. We do it with, with every with everybody. Everybody. You know what yeah. I mean? So his his Do we uh, do that in R and B? Yeah. We do it a little bit, right? I with mean, like Chris Brown bit, and yeah, Usher. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's not the same generation. Yeah. Nah. Mm -mm. And R and B right. to me it's 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 really lovey. You can't really mm. have hate on it. Gotcha. I think what started that in R and B though was verses. Yeah. True. Yeah, we yeah, started yeah. comparing people's catalogs yeah. and, and all of that. And that's yeah, yeah. we got a lot of this, yo, Chris Brown versus Usher, Neo versus this person. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now it's like, oh, there's a little there's a little something yeah, there. It's, it's, it's now a sport. Yeah, but yeah. you can't do an R&B like diss track, can you? Yeah, that would be... I mean, you could sing be, to a nigga. I, I mean, mean, The Weeknd well, sung to Drake. Chris Brown. <laughs> he did. Chris Brown. He did. Did. True, yeah, yeah, yeah. He you did. You can sing to people now, Pete. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> also, like, I think um, just the way rap has been uh, administered to the public has mm -hmm. changed so much. Oh, my God. Right? Yeah. Even so much so that the Grammys has had to include a melodic rap category. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Right? It's because now word. the kids... It's funny. Quincy was talking about this earlier. Mm -hmm. How they're viewing rap mm -hmm. or how they're introduced to it is with the inclusion of the auto-tune. Mm -hmm. Right? It's with the inclusion of the melody. Yeah. When we was coming up, it was where my dog's at. Yeah, no, 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 no. It was very gritty. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. And it's funny you say right. that. I, I don't know if we're going to touch it, but yeah. honestly, that's why I like drill music. Yeah. But that's why sexy drill to me is like is fire. Yeah. Because it's got the melody. Yes. And most of them, you know, they start, they start off in a, in a, in a, in a minor key. Mm -hmm. So even the tonalities and what I'm hearing are different. The samples is nostalgic to you. Oh my God. Uh -huh. and uh -huh. Like I was saying before, yep. like that's where I appreciate samples more. Right. Like, yo, throw some old school joint on it, strip it down. Let me just get the, you know, the back vocal, slow it down. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I see what you're saying. So. Some, some like this, this is, I want to play you something real quick. Mm -hmm. This is, um, an artist named Lucky. Okay. So L you always breaking some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you heard, you heard it here first. Yeah. This is he's from the DMV area, but okay. just look at how 
And again, he makes very trap type music, right? Mm-hmm. This is him. What you say? What you say again? Oh, he's from Chicago, uh, right? Chicago. Yes, he is. I'm. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry about that. This my bop right here already. See what I'm getting now? We don't know what he's saying right now. <laughs> but those soul samples kind of just take us. Like, when we heard her loss, right? A part of the reason why I loved her loss was a lot of the sample usage, yeah, right? Yeah. And I don't know. It just kind of makes you think about, like, when it comes to sexy drill, right? Mm-hmm. That was the only place drill was going to go. Because I saw how the labels were finding it kind of difficult to really market killing, 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 spinning, and spinning, spinning. And they couldn't spinning. get booked anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't get booked. A lot, a lot would happen. Great point. They were trying to have them at Rolling Loud and great Summer point. Jams and these different venues. That's and they like, point. oh, now if you're going to be here, <laughs> but your man you. over here going to be here. beefing with niggas. Yeah, and yeah. y'all been throwing air bullets at each other for the last <laughs> six tracks. Like, y'all not about to shoot each other for real at my venue. At, not, not at Rolling Loud. <laughs> not here. Can't, not here, right? Can't put yeah. the ops together. Can't no. put the ops together, right? So I feel like, again, we're talking about how rap kind of transitioned with melody and auto tune. Drill also did the same with love and women. True. Yes. Because now it's completely like women used to bump gangster drill shit. Like I know some chicks that like, <laughs> nah, damn, she sure. pretty as hell, but she's spinning that killer yeah. killer drill shit. <laughs> she right? might stab a nigga. She was, she, she <laughs> might stab she a nigga. Stab a nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be careful. Safety. Yeah. Tread Safety. Lightly. <laughs> <laughs> Tread lightly. Yeah. But we're seeing how sexy drill is just becoming more accepted because it's about love. Yeah. And back to Drake. That's what I knew him on. Mm-hmm. Like, just the love, talking about women, talking about uh, situations, relationships. Wow. And yeah. those are things as human beings we're naturally always going to relate to. Um, I was, you took the... Because we here. You good. Because we here. I was... Because <laughs> we I was here. Just about to, I was just about here. to say, yo, love is the most universal language and the experience of it. You know what I mean? Everybody I, wants love. Everybody. You everybody. can't not... Everybody don't can't relate to an op. Everybody can't relate to... Having to bust down some guns, uh, cooking, like you know, oh, what I mean, go crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, cooking. yes, if 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 you if you you know dress love in a different way, like in a yeah. sexy drill, right. or if you if you drink and you talk about you know you put out honestly, never mind, yep. mm-hmm. and you know what I mean, it's just a lot more. Mm-hmm. It's not trivial, but it just becomes more alive. Yes, you know, what and I mean? as you're saying that, I'm starting to realize what maybe the real, maybe not confusion, maybe shit for Drake did mm-hmm. for Drake is there is a there's a level of uh, pride in rap. Oh, for sure. Yep. And respect yeah. that all the greats look for. Yep. If I'm Drake, though, all the R&B joints I put out, all the pop joints I put out, mm-hmm. I really wouldn't give a fuck <laughs> about having the best MC pen. Me, yeah. per- just speaking personally. Yeah. Again, I could be fucking wrong and stupid. This is just my brain. Mm-hmm. Because when I look at his catalog and how successful he's been yeah. with those types of records, makes me think yo bro like rap you is fine but you're so much more successful when you get into what you're good at yeah you know what i'm saying that's a but just to fight back on that fight back fight back is there is there a place for do you get as much credit for that as you do for being a good mc right because kendrick doesn't have that side to him kendrick has no r&b side there is no love there is no text go green for kendrick right right Right. but he's being heralded now as the top guy he's being heavily celebrated so you do do you still get that celebration and kudos and all of that for being the smooth r&b dude as opposed if you were the best Mm. rapper is that title Mm. the same as y'all make the all smooth melodic Mm. joints and i got this great r&b bag and saying yo I'm the best rapper though. That's a great question. Nah, that's a great so. that's a great question. And yeah. I agree with P nah. But mm-hmm. I think the caveat that changes here is Drake, you literally you essentially introduced an entirely new genre yeah. mm-hmm. with the way you are, uh, approach rap. Yeah. Yeah. Even Cash Cobain, Chow Lee, Lonnie Love, mm-hmm. we're talking about the originators of the sexy drill sound right yeah. here. Yeah. So again, for them, I don't see them trying to pivot. Because they're so good at what, at they what do. they're doing. Yeah. Facts. So to your point, you're right. Maybe to the general consensus of the world or rap fans, mm-hmm. all right, cool. They might just put Kendrick at number one now. Right. If I'm Drake, though, I, I basically traded an entire 
new subgenre. You saying you bigger than that? I'm big. If I'm Drake, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real talk. If I'm, that's how I would feel. Yeah. Like, do y'all hear the records I'm putting out? Like, and, yeah. y'all hear this, this, these melodies? And we forget too. Drake, yeah. Drake done pen a lot of people. He, he, he did. He even did. though, even though a lot of niggas pen his shit. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard a lot it's of a, reference a, tracks. It is yeah. what it is. It's a yeah. symbiotic relationship. It, 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 I, yeah, <laughs> apparently, apparently. <laughs> Regardless of the fact, yeah. I don't die on those hills about who wrote it or nothing. Mm. Mm. But to speak to Cash Cobain and some of the new people, right, with the sexy drill. Yeah, like I've seen Cash. Cobain and, and Drake comments like, yo, this is my goat. Da, 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 yeah, da, right? Yeah, yeah. And mm. Cash also came out recently and said, yo, I don't even make music for guys. Yeah, no. Nah. Like, I make, I make for music baddies. for. So, right? Yeah. He's accepting the lane that he's in. Cash don't care about lyrics. Yeah. To me, a lot of the beats sound the same. We were talking about that. I'm like, how True. does he get away with making yeah. the same beat? Because it's that yeah. sound. It's that drum, whatever it's the, that. It's the E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the stomps, yeah, the hi hats. The open, the open hi hats. Yeah. And he's yeah. figured it out and he's mastered it to the point now, like, Everybody needs. We've seen everybody get on. Yeah, we've Cent got Central Charlie Seas. Wilson on. Bro, Cash Cobain Attitude joint. Cold? Yeah, Attitude. with Don Tolliver. So Yo, he's just like skated on that drum. I was like, oh. To A's point, sometimes yeah. you just gotta feed into what your lane is and you what go. you are good at. Yeah. There if, you go. If R and B Drake is really the top nigga melodic at doing Drake, that shit, right? If he's the top melodic nigga, then who cares if I'm the best rapper? Make your A's A pluses. Okay. I hope they yeah. still don't think I hope I hate Drake after all of this. They probably might. They they still after I just big all this. I love but him. I will say, Drake got to come with, with some new yeah. R&B drink because Future got it on that. On yeah. the, uh, I still don't trust you. Some uh, of the oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we still don't trust you. Like some of the joints that he got on there that yeah. is on that melodic, melodic. shit. Like, yeah. The last like one, hurt Future a little bit. Oh, be, the, be the bag. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I love Hendrix so much. Yes. What was that 2017? Yes, I, think so. I love that album. That's my personally my favorite Future album. But yes. again, we're speaking more subjectively, mm -hmm. and he has a very wide trap fan base. Yeah. So I understand it, but it's like. When people recognize you for doing something so good that others can't do, yeah. it's like some of the homies, they make music, right? I tell them this all the time. I got real homies that can really spit. Mm -hmm. I tell like, them, I'm like, like... off the top? Like, off the top. Okay. Shout out to PK, shout out to Just. Like, these niggas could go off the top. Nah, just, yeah, yeah. They could go off the top. Just good. Right, yeah. they're good. What I tell them is, yo, when it comes to auto-tune, when it comes to melodic shit, you could do what they could do, but they can't do what you can do. Yeah. Now you're talking. <laughs> you see where I'm getting at? Yep. And and I and I feel like that would have helped a lot of Drake's confidence in that war mm -hmm. as well. If he kind of had just a lot of that in the top of his brain, you know. But I feel like too though. Yeah. Let let's say let's say he likes both, but let's say rapping is more of his favorite. I agree. Right? Yeah. We got you'll have a lot of people saying, like you're saying, yo, go back to the melodic stuff. That's really where you get your stuff at. Yeah. Or where you shine at, but like, what if you don't want to do that? I agree. Or what if you don't want to make the the total change now? You know what I mean? He might still feel like he's in his rap prime, mm -hmm. but you know, what I mean, maybe he might, might want to save that for another time. It's a good question, Pierre. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I will say this though: I, I would do whatever is going to help your confidence. Okay, and so I think that's a hit. <laughs> it could be an R and B hit. You yeah. need a hit. Yeah, a big, a big hit. Yeah, yeah. 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 We Something don't care if you're singing. We yes. don't care if we got a wine waist to it. <laughs> Your wine waist. Whatever Drake, <laughs> Jamaican Drake. Whatever. Any, whatever. any Drake whatever that's gonna nigga. come nah, and give facts. us that smash for the yeah. summer. That's the Drake that needs to come. We're, we're, smashes for the rest of his career. Yeah. Because, like you said, at the end of the day, not everybody can do that. Like Kendrick no. cannot give you the Jamaican smash. No. He, he does not have a controller. And if you think yeah. about the Drake and Kendrick rift mm -hmm. before we get out of here. That was kind of the differences between the two of them. Yeah, Kendrick yeah. stuck to what he was good at, yeah. mm -hmm. and did not sway from it. Yeah, that's true at all. So to answer your question, Pierre, I, if I'm Drake, music going, putting out music going forward for however many years he decides to put out music, mm -hmm. I'm doing what what makes me feel confident because yeah. they're obviously trying to make you feel unconfident yeah. about a lot of stuff that you already released. Yes, or your raps or etc. Yeah, remember. Yeah. Khaled said, whatever Drake like, I like. I like. I like. <laughs> <laughs> whatever Drake likes, I, I like. So if I, if I like is doing me right, yeah. I might want to just stay there for a little bit. I agree. I agree, yeah. man. That's great. Yeah. Uh, listen, please um, leave your thoughts in the comments. We, uh, we share our thoughts here with you guys, yeah. of yes. course. Yeah. We love when you uh, respond and you guys are, are very, uh, what's the word? Uh, we, you communicate with us. Yeah, interactive. Inter interactive. Engaging. Absolutely. We love, when, we love when you engage with us. Um, you guys got anything else though before we get out of here? Uh, not to put you on the spot, but could you leave us out with, yeah. a, with a, a parable of A? Parable of A. Yeah. Okay. Give, I give us something. Give I got something. you. I got you, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now let him go. That, that, <laughs> that, 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 girl, that girl isn't ignoring you. 
She just got a new boyfriend. <laughs> Listen, this has been We <laughs> Have More. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> Listen, we, this is we Have More Thoughts. Yeah. With your boy AQNP. Yo. A place where we share thoughts that don't get the time, the appreciation, yeah. or the interest as they normally should. Um, just shining a little light on it. Just shine a little light on it. Yeah. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. We have more content on the way as always. Cooking up. Cooking up. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys. Yes. Gang.